Hello ducklings, it's Auntie again. Thanks for coming back to my castle. For today's activity with Auntie, we're gonna learn all about germs. Gross! Now I'm sure you've learned a lot about germs because of coronavirus, but did you know that there's germs around us all the time? So we're gonna learn about germs, where to find them, and how to keep yourself safe from them. But before we get to learning, you know what you have to do. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's dive in. What are germs? What are germs, you might ask? Tiny living things. So come here, there. Germs are so tiny, you can't even see them unless you zoom in really close with a machine called a microscope. And they can make you sick if they get inside you. But what are germs? Here they are, telling you what they are. We are flu, cold, we're viruses, we're chicken pox, we're bacteria, tummy bugs, infections. Oh, those don't sound fun. Let's peek under there. Oh no, I have the flu. I have the chicken pox. I have a cold. Let's look under the bacteria. Not all bacteria make you sick. Some are very helpful. They help your body to work and they help make different foods like cheese and yogurt. Those are made from bacteria. That sounds weird, but I know cheese is tasty. So where do germs live? The answer ducklings, where do you think germs live? They live everywhere, everywhere. On your hands, on the toilet, on the streets, on your shoe, on plants and animals too. Let's look at these germs on the toilet. I can't lift it, I can't get it. Look at these germs on the toilet. Ew, they look cute, but they're dirty. So this is why you have to wash your hands and keep the toilet clean too. Let's look at the germs on the street. I don't know if there's germs on the street, it's outside, how are there germs there? Oh, there's germs on me and you. We carry the germs. What? And germs are on plants and animals and germs like soil. And you know what else they like? They love poop. Germs live in poop, animal poop, people poop. Poop is real germy. Look at that germy poop. Ew. There are more germs than you think in the kitchen sink. Are you ready for this? <gasps> You're not ready for this. You don't want to see how many germs are in this sink. Okay, get ready. Ew! Look at all these germs. One germ quickly turns into many. One splits into two, two split into four, four split into eight, and so on. Oh my goodness, they're multiplying until there's millions, millions of germs. Let's close that sink back up. So how do germs spread? Through cuts, on hands, on animals, and through the air. Achoo! That's spreading germs. Let's see what you do if you have a cut. Don't touch your cut. You should clean it and put on an adhesive bandage. That's how you help not spread germs. What do you do about your hands? So don't put dirty fingers in your mouth and wash your hands. What about animals? Flies carry germs, so do pets. And what about through the air? Cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Trap your germs and throw them away, then Wash your hands. That's important, friends. You just gotta keep washing your hands. When we wash our hands, that's how we kill the germs. And when we kill the germs, that's how we keep everyone safe. You might wonder, can my body fight the germs? The answer, yes. If you get a cut, germs in your eye or mouth, germs in your nose, or even if germs reach your tummy, and if germs get in your blood. Look at these germs, we can't get in. Your skin helps keep out the germs. And if you get a cut, your blood makes a scab to cover it. Look at your blood fighting. Keep out germs, stay out of the way. If you get germs in your eyes or your mouth, they get flushed out with tears or in spit. Look at these germs. 
the tears are taking them away. If you get germs in your nose, they get trapped by your nose hairs. Look at it, even your nose hairs are coming in to protect you. All the germs are so stressed. Ah. And if you get germs in your tummy, your tummy juices kill most of them. See, look, it's like acid, killing all those germs. But what about if you get germs in your blood? I'll tell you, white blood cells gobble them up or attack the germs. Look at these happy little white blood cells coming to save the day. See, ducklings, your body is always ready to fight some germs. So how do medicines help? Some teach your body how to fight the germs, like a vaccine. See, our friend here is getting a shot. Your vaccine teaches your body how to fight. Look, you'll need to make weapons like these. And here's our white blood cells with their weapons fighting the germs. Other medicines fight germs for you, like an antibiotic. Look, here's the other antibiotic. I can't kill colds or other viruses, only pesky bacteria. But look at that antibiotic, that medicine coming in and saving you from the germs. Did you know that medicines come from unusual places? What? Medicine's gonna come from a dog? That doesn't make any sense. Let's see what it says. Oh from plants. Ideas for new medicines can come from leaves, roots, seeds, and even petals. Medicine also comes from the jungle? Hmm, I didn't know that. Oh, from animals. These ants make their own medicine. That's neat. Wait, medicine comes from old food? Oh even from mold. Here's the mold close up and it's fighting the bacteria. So you wanna know how you can stop germs? I think you know one way, we've mentioned it a couple times. What's one very easy way that you can stop germs? Do you remember? Here's a hint, wash your hands with soap and water. So you should wash your hands after using the toilet, before making or eating food, after sneezing and coughing, after touching pets, and especially after cleaning up poop. Hmm, what other ways can we stop germs? You can keep your surfaces clean. See, she's using some soap. Another way you can stop germs, clean up after your pets. That's important. You don't wanna leave poop around for everybody. Watch out. And then wash your hands. Hmm, some other ways you can stop germs? Take the right medicines and do what the doctor says. Another way you can stop germs is by brushing your teeth. Ducklings, there's germs in your own mouth. So you gotta brush your teeth to get them out. You should brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day. That's how you're gonna keep out the germs. Some other ways you can stop the germs? Become a scientist and help find new medicines. Look at her, she's using her microscope. Another way to stop germs, don't tempt them. Wash, seal, chill, and cook food properly. That's important because bacteria can live on them. The last way you can help stop germs is to catch them. Look at her, she's catching the germs in her tissue and then throw them away and then wash your hands. You guys should know that by now. The end. Wow, that was a lot of information that I never knew about germs. So it looks like the germs are everywhere. But you don't have to worry, ducklings, because our body knows how to fight them. We have medicines to help fight them, and you could do things to fight them, like catching the germs, throwing them out, and washing your hands. Thanks for coming to my castle, ducklings, and learning all about germs with me. It's important that we know these things so we can help keep ourselves and everybody else safe. Before you go, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time at Auntie's Castle.